Hello everyone, my name is Stacy, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So in the last episode, we were out at the end of the train tracks, exploring the dam to see if we could find a rifle, and we continued on the train tracks and we discovered a new part of the map called the ravine. And I don't think we're going to stay here very much longer because we only have one piece of venison on us, and uh, we need to head home uh, and get our <gasps> Can I fall here? Like, will the game let me fall? Let's not find out. Is that a waterfall? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. So this is a whole new part of the map. I wish the weather was better because I think I'm going to start to freeze. It is 16 degrees and so I'm getting cold. Oh gosh! No! 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 gosh guys no it did one of those things those thing that thing that i have been complaining about forever that when you undo when you hit tab to look at your like dashboard and then you hit untab the cam it automatically jerks your view to the sky and it's disorienting and that happened and i don't think i moved but I might have tried to move to like look down and steady myself again. And I just fell off that bridge. <laughs> that is such a typical Stacy. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't help but laugh because honestly, like I'm, I try to be cool. And I feel like I get myself into these situations where I die in ways that normal people that play this game do don't die. I just plummeted off that bridge to my death and it said that I died from massive internal injuries. Oh my gosh, you survived 7 days, 22 hours and 25 minutes. I didn't make my 10-day goal. I'm so, I'm so mad right now. Part of me is excited because I get to start a new game in the new sandbox, but I did not. I repeat, I did not fall off that on purpose. That was 100% an accident. And I'm a little mad. <laughs> like, oh, I want to, did any, oh gosh. I was, part of me was hoping to, like, maybe the game doesn't expect anyone to be that dumb. And so maybe you don't die. If you fall, like maybe you just fall into the snow and, and sprain your ankle like part as we were falling because we were falling for a long time. I had a lot of time to think and I really was like, I bet I bet I'll just land in the snow. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, my gosh. I'm so embarrassed. Why do I have to post this? I have to post this because otherwise I couldn't explain how I died. Honestly, I feel like. You know, it, it's a game where you're supposed to just, like, freeze or starve to death or dehydrate. But I fall. I get killed by dogs. <laughs> like, this is... I'm probably going to be the first person to get killed by a rabbit in this game. Let's go ahead and, and start a new sandbox. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down. Oh, wait. I want to... Is it going to take me back to the title screen? Because I want to choose the new uh, coastal highway. <sighs> If it puts me back into Mystery Lake, I'm going to quit and um, and choose. You know what? I can't be sure, so let's go ahead and actually quit. All right. So, new sandbox. I'm pretty sure you can't do the story still. Yeah. New sandbox. I'm going to stick it out with her. We've had our differences, but... It's okay. All right, Coastal Highway. I'm, okay. I'm so mad. I am so mad. I, like I could see you maybe thinking that I killed myself on purpose because I wanted to play Coastal Highway, but they integrated it into the map. I was so excited because I could get back and forth between the new worlds. So there was no. Re I had so much stuff. I had so much stuff. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, this is going to be fun though because it's a new area, but I'm I can't believe I can't believe this happened. The foraging for food and water, the struggle for life in a world without masters, housed Okay, oh, I'm going to have to rewind that and finish reading it. Um, oh gosh, what time is it? 6 p.m. <gasps> no. 6 p.m. 6 p 6 6 freaking p.m. All right, we're on a highway. Look at this. Am I crouched right now? I feel crouched. Huh. Um, we're on a highway, and it's 6 p.m. That's mean. I didn't think that the game ever started you. Oh. This is another lake. <gasps> Look at this. What in the, is that like ocean? It is a coastal highway. Holy crap, guys. We're we're in a completely new area now. Oh, great. Weak ice. Weak ice. No. Is that just the name that is that just like the name of the pond? That's like a nice name for the pond. Um I'm really upset that it's 6 p.m. because I didn't think that the game ever started you in a position where you could die so quickly. If I don't find shelter and food and start a fire and sleep the night somewhere, I, I'm going to die. Is that a wolf down there? I can't jump. <gasps> Bunny! Bunny! We found you! We found you, Bunny! Hi! Oh my gosh. I can't believe I found you. Where? Where'd you go? I just want to see you. Please come to me. I really need to go find shelter, but this is too important. If I stay really still, can I shift? Why can't I crouch? I might need to change my settings again. Oh, he ran away. Oh, he was scared. Darn it. Why can't I crouch anymore? Um, Controls. Keyboard. Key bindings. Crouch. Left control. Left control. Oh. Uh, no. Let's do... Can I do this one? Oh, I can't do that one. All right, left control it is. Oh, wait, no. There. There. There we go. <gasps> no. Why? Okay, back to game. We're in panic mode now. The sun is setting. We just wasted a lot of time trying to see the bunny. Um, and we've got to find... We've got to find some kind of residence. There's an ice fishing hut out there. And actually, it kind of looked like it had a door to it. Um, so that's tempting, but there's got to be like a, like a cabin around here, um, that we haven't discovered yet. <gasps> well, that was convenient. That looks like a massive cabin. Oh, that's good. All right, guys, this is, this is okay. I'm liking the coastal highway. This is good. That cabin is going to have a ton of stuff. I can already tell it's a big cabin. And then we can use that as our base of operations. To go around this whole lake area now. <gasps> I, I'm still like I can't just <laughs> I'm having a hard time like getting into this new game because I wouldn't I'm so in shock of that fall. Like I really wanted to explore that bridge and now I have no idea where that bridge is in in context for this new map. Like I was really excited that I had discovered the way to get to that part of the world because then I can come into the new world, but I could always go back because there's still so much that we haven't discovered in that part of the map. And now I'm just completely lost until I find that bridge again. I'm not going to be able to go back to the map and go back to the camp office and and get all that stuff from there. And is this just like one huge building? No, it's a series of buildings. It, from a distance, it looked like one huge building. Fishing camp. Oh, I wonder if I can fish. Ooh, a workbench. How do I... Can I get into here? Okay. Ooh. Um, did I pass the door again? I always do this. Where was the door? Here we go. All right, we've got a bed. That's great. Do we have any stuff in here? There's just a... Oh, a locker. Hey, I can open this one. Oh, please have good stuff. I think stuff. I can use this. Not really. I mean, eventually, maybe. We kind of need food. 
That one's locked. Oh, you know what? I haven't even looked at what I have on me. Wait, do I have nothing? No, I have stuff. Antiseptic, wearing, 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 flare, wearing, accelerant, bandage. Mm, okay. They gave me no food. Cruel, cruel game. See? That thing jerked me up again. That's how I fell. I'm so devastated. Probably uh, useful. Sardines? Yes, sardines. Otherwise known as dinner. All right. Um, now, can I, like, crouch here and look under the bed? Yeah, no, nothing. We've got to get into the other houses just before it gets completely pitch black dark. Um, all right. I'm a little worried because that had hardly any loot. And they might have made it so that there's not just like tons of stuff in the cabins. Which definitely was the case previously in the game. <gasps> Ooh, this place is fancy. Look at that. Um, all right, plastic container. Oh, I'm so mad I died. Never know. Could end up being useful. Yeah, well, they're wool socks and you're in a snowy tundra, so seems like it would be useful. All right, let's, um, let's check this really beautifully. I feel like I'm in, you know, the world of Frozen right now. It's like pretty little cabin. I'm going to pick this one. If I end up staying here. Although it doesn't have a stove. If one of them has a stove, I'm going to... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't laugh at the gloves, please. Don't make me regret picking you. Empty. Come on. We haven't found... We found one tin of sardines so far. Like, where's our summit soda? For goodness sake. This bed looks comfy, though. And the, I like how there's curtains on the windows. It's a nice touch. This is homey. What is this? is that huh all right well this is terrible no firewood oh we could forage no we don't have a hatchet um all right it's still pretty light this is good we've got two more houses one of them has to have good stuff right oh oh yes yes mm, this will come in handy yep um, okay. What do we got over here? Reclaimed wood, yep. Reclaimed wood, yep. What are you? Lantern fuel, heck yes. Am I missing anything over here? Um, plastic container. Food, please. Jerky? No? Um, for a fishing camp, this is like a lot fancier than the lake cabins. The fishing... Fishermen really uh, spiffied up the place with the curtains. It's nice. <sighs> All right. Well, the one thing that I do like about this so far, um, the like little glimmering piece of hope in the fact that I've had to restart is that I haven't seen any wolves yet in this side. <gasps> A double bed. Wow. All right. Please give me some. This stuff will come food. in handy. For the love, I need food. How am I supposed to live? I can't believe we haven't found any. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, clothing. Ooh, condition 25%. But we're not actually wearing a coat at all. So we have to put this on for now. And then hopefully we can harvest some cloth or something. I, I'm so mad that we're having to start over, actually. Salty crackers. Best be prepared for anything. It's a weird thing to say. We're going to need water if we have salty crackers. Um, this is, I can't believe there's a double bed. That's kind of funny. Um, I mean, it's cool. Ooh, what, what are you? A rifle round. Okay, awesome. Um, and there's a door here. Does this go outside? or does? Oh, yeah, it does. I thought maybe it'd be a bathroom or something. Is that the door I came in? Oh. Wow, there's like a little... I have a wraparound deck. That's a lot of wood. Wait, is there something in there? What are all these... <gasps> Why, game audio? Why? It was like... Wood pallets. Dun, dun, dun. Wood pallets of death. Isn't it almost 749? Alright, well, listen... 
I think we could start a fire at this point, but we have sardines and salty crackers, which actually will go well together, but, oh, I just remember that this place is called Weak Ice. I don't like that. So I, I, even though I haven't seen wolves, I know that I can't sleep in one of these overnight because they're open. Cold. I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'm cold. sorry. Oh. Ooh, do you have bleak fire? fire. Thick, hot fire. Yeah. Cold. Yeah, you have boots on. You're not that cold, actually. I can't believe I, the, every time that thing does it, and I like fly up to like there. It reminds me of falling off that. I think I can use this bridge. You guys are gonna make fun of me in the comments. The thing I'm most worried about. I love you guys. I know that you won't make fun of me. But I do worry about... Oh, I'm getting lots of food. Yes. Um, I do worry about other people who, like, search to find playthroughs of this game because it's still in alpha. And then they discover my playthrough and they're like, oh, let's watch this one. And then it's just a comedy of errors and I find a way to just die spectacularly. It's a little embarrassing. So I'm making the decision. Those cabins over there blow. Um... I, I don't know. I should have. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. There's this place is so huge. Like this is so vast. I could hit all of those little ice fishing things, but seeing as it's getting dark, actually, I'm gonna come hit this one, and then I'm gonna go over to that cabin over there. Um, actually, I doubt that that cabin is gonna. I'm gonna have to melt some snow at a certain point here. I did find a water bottle though, so that actually that could probably get me through the night. Oh, but I have so much salt that I'm going to consume. Sardines are very, very salty. A lot of times they're marinating in salt. And then I have crackers that actually are called salty crackers. I don't think the game takes salt, like sodium levels into effect, but I'm just saying, you know, personally, I want a lot to, I could use a soda to wash it down with. Did I get a soda? I might have got a soda. I like how I plan my meals I'll take it. in this game. Um, and dream of like a pet bunny and a pet wolf jerky also very high in sodium Scrap metal good. We're gonna have to do a lot more repairing peaches. I wonder if I have a can <gasps> orange soda There we go. That's gonna be wonderful. Ooh, can I do anything here? No All right, so cabin let's just run why not Why not? Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of cabins. I, I Cannot believe how big <laughs> this is I thought that I had a lot of ground to cover in the mystery lake section of the map and I was I, I could have played in that part for probably another like 10 episodes if I managed to survive because I think that there were a lot of other we never even went up that that um, on the way to the dam there was like that access road we've been up it like once but not all the way so I don't know and I don't know where I don't know how to get back to that that bridge the, on the like that train track bridge. I feel like maybe over there. I wish that I still had that like gigantic mountain. I'm just ignoring her right now. I think if I ignore her, then she'll understand that that does not work with me. You need to say, you know, hey, I'm freezing to death, and then I'll I'll care. But if you're just gonna sit there and and chatter your teeth. I'm just going to say, you know what? You're a whiner. I was raised. I was a military brat. My dad was an airborne ranger. Like, toughen up. I had to toughen up. You know, if I was on vacation, if I was hungry, too bad. You got to wait. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess that's, that's kind of true. In real life, I'm not a wimp. Um, log sort. Huh. All right. This is promising. But... Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I can't get in this building. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Tell me I can get into one of these buildings for the night. This was my plan. This st stupid game. And by stupid, I mean awesome. Yes. Okay. Lovely. Perfect. Um, what is that? A bedroll? Uh, is there anything in here, though? 
Oh, gosh. Probably useful. Took. All right. Um, plastic container. Come on. Empty. Nope. Bad. What did I just hit? Firewood? Jerry can. Perfect. Okay. Anything? Peaches. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh! My favorite sweet carbonated drink full of high fructose corn syrup. Just what I want in a geomagnetic apocalypse. Yes. We are saving that for a special occasion. Never know. Could end up being useful. All right. Um, what time is it? 9 p.m. So we're really cold, but it's going on the down. So I don't think we need to start a fire, I hope. Um, how many calories do I have? 1395. Pretty good with that, too. Let's drink a little something. Just to kind of tide us over if we go to sleep. Let's drink an orange soda. Added calories, but did it help our thirst? Yes, it did. Is that a wolf? Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and spend the night here. I think I'm hoping I'm not going to freeze to death. Like I'm really cold. So I might I've survived for three hours. This is horrible. Um, I'm going to just sleep for a second here and see if, like, I'm, if I sleep for one hour, I'm going to see if I get colder or warmer because that will tell me if I need to, like, go outside and start a fire versus being able to sleep the whole night. Conditions 100%. Okay, cool. So I can sleep here. It's just going to be pretty cold. Did you hear that? I don't know what that was. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I'm really sorry that I died, and I hope you come back because we have a whole lot more exploring to do, and we're going to make it the 10 days. I'm determined. This is this is the go of it. Um, I sound confident, even though I have no supplies compared to last time, but we're going to give it our all. So until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. <laughs>